Alright folks, good morning. I'm here at the Stone Mountain Campground last morning here. And uh, I think this is day 23. So uh, coming up right at the halfway point. Um, I am going to be doing a combination of biking and hiking today. Um, I'll leave the campground, head down the Trap Hill Road, and bike over to Wells Knob, hike over the Wells Knob, uh, and then bike some more. I think there's another hike or two in there, um, and either carrying or rolling the bike when I'm hiking, and uh, you know, try and get over to the Corridor Trail today. Uh, maybe even uh, hike the Corridor Trail up toward Pilot Mountain. We'll see how the day goes. Maybe grab a little lunch there in Elkin or something. So, just trying to uh, make my way along. And uh, this is the first bike heavy day. So, I'm going to see how things go. Hopefully, the repair um, holds up well. And, uh, and things go smoothly today. That's the hope. Association, a uh, shout out on this one, this Wells Knob Trail, really well maintained, uh, nice and open to walk through here, and uh, nice bridges over slippery rock faces on streams, really pretty place here. No oh, goody, I am recording. All right, so I think I've climbed almost all the way up Wells Knob here. Um, 
it's been a job to walk the bike up here but uh honestly it hasn't really been uh it hasn't differed that much from what i expected it to be um maybe the trail's actually been a little better than i was expecting i kind of just expected straight up uh and it has been straight up in some places like right here but it's actually switched back pretty decent at least on this side um, and uh, I've just kind of been working my way up I think the peak is right up there I don't really expect to have great views there might be a view or two up here I look like this thing was farsted all the way up to the top so a lot of times like the worries where it's farsted all the way up to the top you're just not going to see anything much off of it so we'll see all right um i think i'm pretty much at the top doesn't look like the trail is going to go all the way up to the very top of the knob there which is fine um, the signage says that you are trespassing if you depart from the trail so i suppose i will not depart from the trail there's a bench up here uh cory woods graduation project don't think it says what year the bench looks pretty good um and uh, a little bit of chainsaw work can make this a pretty awesome view i don't know if the uh, landowners are willing to do that or not um I say a little bit, probably a lot of it, but um, pretty cool that whoever does own the land here um, is willing to let the MSC pass through here and let people climb up here to the top of this uh, local landmark. All right, so this is the way down. And I'm heading uh, eastbound on the MST, so take that for what it's worth. Um, I think this might actually roughly be the east side of uh, Wells Knob, too, but I won't swear to it. Trail got a little convoluted there, how it approached it, and the sun isn't shining bright, but I think this is approximately the east side. Anyways, uh, I looked up a video somewhere of what the trail over Wells Knob looked like just to see how gnarly it was going to be. And I think I remember seeing them walk on this part of it, um, which appears to be like old roadbed. Uh, still pretty steep. Um, otherwise, it's relatively passable, so that's good. Alright, so this is what, uh, if you're heading westbound, what it, the entrance would look like. There's a gate, uh, and the trail kind of cuts around to the right. Some stuff there to keep larger vehicles and stuff from going through over there. And uh, I'm going to get the head down the hill here. This doesn't get too... <laughs> like a pretty nice little place uh, not a whole lot of people stay in there I mean it's Tuesday it is the middle of um, middle of the summer vacationing season though so uh, 
Seems like a nice little spot, pretty quiet through here. And uh, I'm trying to make my way over here, follow the MST uh, here through the woods. And uh, heading to Elkin. But I'm only six miles out. So I'm looking forward to uh, grubbing out once I get over there to Elkin. Alright, so the trail guide I remember reading yesterday said that this was the Enchanted Pine Forest. And uh, quite a few interesting things through here. Um, including a squirrel that was uh, an artificial squirrel, I might add, that was kind of hanging out in a tree looking me down. So uh, I guess if you're hiking this section, keep your eyes peeled for random enchanted items. All right, after uh, Stone Mountain, um, the campground there has basically no service. Now, if you hike up on top of anything there, you can get service, but uh, I've got full coverage right here. It's probably because I'm right next to the cell tower there. And uh, Bird's Branch looked like it would have, or it did have uh, service there. Um, might be a consideration for anybody that's thinking about looking for a spot to camp. You're trying to decide between the two. But, uh, anyhow, uh, about to rejoin the road here. Just hiking by the last little part of this field. I just passed the turn to Grassy Creek Vineyard. And, uh, this is another nice little Elkin Valley Trail Association trail, and I've enjoyed uh, hiking it. And uh, bikes, this one has not been too bad of a trail partner, but uh, bikes are definitely not always easy to walk beside of. Um, the uh, Pedals on this one have some spiky little metal things, and they're not super spiky, but enough that if I ever catch my calf against it, I definitely know. I don't think I've drawn blood yet today, but I uh, can't beat the bike on the road, though. I think I said it some yesterday, but I feel much safer on a paved road on a bicycle than I do walking. Um, so anyways, uh, cruising through here. This has mostly been open where you can kind of look around and see what's around you in the forest. So that's been nice too. I'm out of the enchanted pine forest now. Got the remnants of an old dam here on the Big Elkin Creek. Boy, this is.
I'm pretty sure this is the road that I used to uh, occasionally make some kind of way down from Appalachian on. My dad showed me that route. Uh, it's really scenic. I don't think we came through here, but uh, so far, nice, gentle uphill and downhill, and Elkin, way to go. Definitely the most MSP friendly town that I've passed through so far. the drama here uh, I gotta go across this and uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all this is this is above my pay grade right here y'all and I've got ticks at least one get off me okay um, I mean, this isn't something that I would enjoy doing if I had dragon poles with me. But this is, well, cray cray, probably used to be a bridge or culvert or something here. Oh, bless it. Oh, I got my shoe. Holy crap. Okay, uh, gotta recover the shoe and not lose the bike. Oh gosh. Oh the drama. Oh gosh. Ah. Oh. That's a big step, y'all. Ain't no plants to hold on to or nothing. Dad gun. Oh. I'm not putting my hand on anything I shouldn't. Come on, baby. Oh, holy snipey. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That, uh, that was interesting. That's why I recorded it for y'all. Yes, I'm going to Pilot Mountain. Slowly but surely.
Well, friends, this is going to go in uh, the category of trails that only the uh, through hikers get to see. I'm going to presume, anyways. It's not so bad once I got into the woods here. Uh, pretty little creek that I'm following along here. If I was in need of water, this thing would be a godsend. Gray squirrels! The uh, acrobats and noisemakers of the forest. So, anyways. Uh, yeah. I'm going to keep creeping through here and try to stay off of the poison ivy and uh, and get back to the road. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, Elkin through hikers Locals, whoever, Harry's Place is a good place to get a meal. Glad I went down there. If you're eastbound, as soon as you cross over the Big Elkin Creek on Main Street, hang a right down Front Street. Harry's is there on the left just before the train tracks. It is a certified hole in the wall, in my opinion. Um, and if you're not with Jennifer and I on knowing what a hole in the wall restaurant is, it's one of those places where you look at the building and you're really not sure what the purpose of it is. However, once you taste the food, you know what the deal is. Uh, and that was that was a good meal, um, best lunch I've had on the trail in quite a while. Uh, beats my typical uh, tuna wraps or chicken wraps or whatever. So I uh, enjoyed that and highly recommend Harry's Place. Alrighty, uh, I am coming out into, I believe, the Carolina Heritage Vineyard here. Thus all the grapevines. I don't believe it's quite time for the grapes yet, but uh, <laughs> maybe that was the purpose of that trip. Oh yeah, yeah it's starting. it'll be a while before those are ready. All right, uh, yeah. So maybe that was the purpose of that trail to uh, bring me along so I could see the vineyard here. I checked the trail guide too. I've been follow, following the uh, GPS MSP guide app and I checked the directions just to make sure I hadn't missed something about that creek crossing there. And I did not. That seemed to be what it said I was supposed to do. Alright, looks like uh, Highway 601 here. Uh, caught my first view of the pilot just a minute ago however I was not able to get the camera on in time to capture it that and I might want to look into some brake work on the bike I believe this is the Fisher River crossing here. Oh yeah. I haven't been to the Fisher River area just a whole lot, but I know that there is a really nice park on the Fisher River we've ran some uh, cross-country meets at. And uh, very, very nice area. I'm, I know it's not far away. I'm just not sure how far. All 
Alright, so the signage says that I'm on the Surrey County Scenic Bikeway. Then following that is the MST here. Definitely had some kind of critter crawling on my leg. Uh, yeah, cruising along here. making my way over uh, that way to the uh, corridor trailhead. might be one of the more bipolar roads I've ridden on today. It's uh, had multiple steep uphills and downhills. There's not a whole lot in between neither. It's kind of felt like either going uphill sharply or downhill sharply. Kind of fits the theme that the hardest bid is always right at the end because I'm almost to the corridor trail parking area but this last little bit is giving me a good run for my money here all right so this is the corridor trail and uh, the signage does not specifically prohibit bikes. But I don't know that I really want to carry the bike anyway. It's pretty hot still. And uh, I think I will uh, progress faster here without it. I just have to come get it this evening. Which won't be fun. Uh, nobody down there at the Hausner Road parking area. So, uh, not surprised. Hopefully I'll be back there to get my bike before closing time. But if not, I'm going to gonna try and call the ranger office here in a minute and let them know my bike is locked up down there. Um... Yeah, so cruising through here, uh, they said this is a strenuous trail. I looked at the elevation gains, and uh, compared to where I've been at, uh, this might be a moderate trail. Might be an easy trail, we'll see. Um, it's all relative, friends. Alright, so uh, 
I didn't really talk about it yet, but uh, the uh, corridor trail here is actually the beginning of segment seven. So I uh, actually wrapped up segment six today, which was the plan. I'm working ahead a little bit, uh, partly because I feel pretty decent still. I need to stop and get some water here in a little bit. Um, but I started with three liters this morning too. Uh, it being my sweet teacup at Harry's uh, place several times today in Elkin too. So I probably drank close to a gallon today. Eh, a little muddy there. I think there's supposed to be another source coming up here in a little bit, so I'm probably going to hold off on that, actually. Let me check that. Yeah, there's another water source coming up in about a mile, so I'm going to hang tight on that. Hopefully it's better than that. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the water, but usually what you see is what you get with water quality, so if it looks muddy, it's probably going to taste gross, but, uh, anyways, may be questionable to come up here and go ahead and start this today, I'll know in the morning, <laughs> boy howdy will I know in the morning, so hopefully I'll be able to do most of the Sour Town uh, trail tomorrow. S A U R A T O W N. And as I've been told, the locals pronounce it not sorrow, but sour. Oh, deer. I've scared up at least a deer a day for the last three or four days now. Uh, some days more than that. A lot of wildlife in uh, encounters in segment five, six, and now seven. So hopefully I'm making a decent bet on doing this trail today, even though it said it was strenuous because uh, this is Brattle Trail in a state park. Usually the state park trails are like this, where they're just wide open. And uh, I have to dodge a little horse poo here and there. But for the most part, pretty easy going. All right, so I'll keep cruising along. Looking forward to that water source. I've been here in this plane for a while now. Sounds like it's been going up and down on the throttle a lot. I'm not sure if it's uh, doing stunts or what. I almost thought it could be crop dusting too. I don't know if anybody crop dusts anymore or not. Um, I really like this corridor trail. I figured I wouldn't. Uh, crossing uh, Stony Ridge Road now, which means I'm basically almost halfway there. Not quite. I think it's like 3.1 miles so far. Uh, trying not to get ran over. Anyways. Um, there have been like at least three water sources that weren't on the MSD Guide app. Uh, I don't even have the trail guide for this section with me. I guess I could download it if I really wanted to. Definitely been walking through some people's backyards, which is, I guess, typical MST stuff from what I've heard for, uh, the, uh, Piedmont, Sourtown Trail, probably be pretty similar tomorrow. 
Uh, seems like the last time I looked at the Sourtown Trail Association's website, they just said to follow the MST trail guide, which has changed, I believe, since I took since I hiked the trail. I think I used the literature from their site to uh, navigate it. It's a patchwork. Um, these markers have been counting down. I don't think they've been counting down from 6.6 .6 though, so I'm not really sure what those are marking or measuring, but anyways, we'll keep rolling. Um, oh yeah, my water, water sources comment. Uh, I passed by the last good one. I think I'd gone less than a tenth of a mile and I drank the last of my water that I brought. So I hiked dry for, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles, something like that. Um, I don't think i really gotten that much water dead. I just, you know, you like to be able to drink and I think it's as much psychological as anything else. Like, I think I could have hiked out without drinking anymore. But, uh, I wouldn't have felt good when I got done. Uh, but that was a nice little water source. I should have videoed some and took a picture or something. Uh, nice and clean, not murky like the one I passed up. And I still haven't gotten to the one on the... Uh, listed on the guide app. It should be just down here a little ways or something. So, long story short, uh, doing okay so far. Um, I think Jennifer, at least when she, the first few times she picked me up, she expected me to just kind of be like completely uh, be holding the thirst and hunger, and I usually am hungry when I'm picked up, but uh, I stay hydrated throughout the day. Uh, I don't think you can do mileage like I'm doing and do it uh, without at least hydrating your body. I've been pushing a lot of calories. I need to eat some more snacks here as I'm walking, and, and she'll probably have supper when she picks me up tonight. So. I'll be ready to chow down uh, when she picks me up. And, uh, yeah. I guess nothing uh, spectacularly scenic. It seems like I've mostly been following a little ridge along here. Um, seems like when you get up at the top of the ridge, you have a little better cell service than the bottom. It's every time. Uh, fortunately, I have had cell service. <laughs> I got down there to the uh, Hauser Road parking uh, area and had no service at all. I was like, oh no, because that was part of the plan for today is to uh, be able to coordinate a pickup. I wasn't sure if I'd make it all the way up to the uh, Pinnacle Hotel Road parking lot. Looks like I will. But, uh, to start with, you know, I wasn't super sure, so I, you know, thought I might have to get her to pick me up at one of the several road crossings along here, so, uh, definitely needed cell service to do that, but fortunately, once I got up to the higher elevations, uh, I was able to get messages out at about one bar of uh, Verizon uh, LTE 4G stuff uh, since uh, pretty much the whole way since I got out of the parking area. So uh, occasionally up to two, make the road cross things in higher elevations. So there you go. Well. Um. I don't know if y'all want to see this or not, but this is the first time I've removed my shoes today. I don't know if you can tell. That one's really well defined. 
All right, yeah. I did. Trekking poles, maybe I could have rock up that. Uh, maybe I could have rock up that too. I just decided to take off my shoes and walk across here. Cool. Not all of these rocks are uh, sharp, just some of them. Ow, ow, ow. I like crossing creeks with trekking poles. Whether I'm walking through the water or not gives you more points of contact. Uh, makes you less likely to fall and bust your face, but, but alas. to get the shoes back on. All right, maybe you'll be able to see this deer when it startles. It's almost straight up the path from me on the right side in the grass. Not sure how close it's going to let me get. Probably 30 or 40 yards from it now. Oh, it's gonna go soon. We looking right at each other. There it goes. All right. That's probably the probably third one today. Maybe more. Still hanging out. It's amazing how they camouflage in once they get steel. It's like if you were glassing over there, you'd never see it. Unless you knew it was there. So, those distance markers apparently just kind of aren't right, and then they gradually get right. So, I don't know. Maybe they were. I don't know. I'm not even going to try. Um, <laughs> I tired. But my wife has fried chicken in the parking lot waiting for me. Day 23, I'm calling a success. My feet don't feel dead. Rode the bike with these shoes on. Uh, normally I like to do bike shoes, but the way uh, I had the hike and bike today, uh, that ended up being, uh, I think, the best choice. I don't think I would have been as happy. And yeah, I could have carried two pairs of shoes, and my bag is already pretty full anyway, so uh, that's why I made that decision. Um, yeah, I don't know what the mileage total for today was. I think I've hiked right at 10 miles or so, and I biked. 40 some, maybe 50 ish. So, uh, all together, I think I've been out here uh, 10 or 11 hours today. My bike strategy is basically climb hills in first gear and, uh, you know, the lowest one, and uh, coast down hills. I'm not really doing any substantial. Uh, cycling, nothing to be uh, amazed with, just trying to get through the day without getting tired. Almost a joke. But anyways, um, definitely the highest mileage day so far. It's a cool day. I enjoyed it very much. It was a nice break from uh, hiking all day, every day. Um, enjoyed Elkin. Um, and uh, looking forward to uh, the Sourtown Trail tomorrow, hopefully.
clips of wrap. Um, let's see, rain totals. I think technically today makes maybe the tenth day of rain. Look at that. On that power line cut there. That's an open field though. Um, we got a little sprinkle this morning. I guess it counts. It didn't really get wet enough to even put the camera away. Uh, but I think it's 10 out of 23 now. So, there you go. Oh, passing the anonymous visitor counter. I anonymously got counted about three or four times over there at the other trailhead. I always try to smile when I go by those for the anonymous trail camera. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's a camera in there, but maybe there is. All right, I think I see the parking lot, so I'm going to turn the camera off.